always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A teddy bear. That's right. Where did you get brown paint? I mixed it myself. Want to see how? Yes, please. Okay, first, start with some yellow. <laughs> then get a little bit of red and mix it in. It's turning orange. Get a little bit of blue and mix it in. Look, it's turning brown. Yeah, you mixed yellow and red and blue and made brown. What are you going to call your new brown? I'm going to call it dirt brown. Oh, like the dirt in my vegetable garden. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, I made the color brown. Can we make that the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting Brown. Which book is brown? There it is. Brown book. Which pants are brown? There it is. Brown pants. Which cuckoo clock is brown? There it is. Brown cuckoo clock. Which table is brown? There it is. Brown table. Marvelous. Look 
colors, like the color brown. Look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. We did it. <laughs> Yay! See you. It's story time. Yay! Get around, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Achoo. How loud is an elephant's sneeze? Let's read and find out. Let's begin. Achoo. Written by Deepa Balsavar, illustrated by Nancy Raj. Achoo, went Monkey. She had a terrible cold. That was loud. I almost fell off the tree, said Cuckoo, poking his head through the leaves. Really? asked Monkey. If this is loud, how loud do you think an elephant sneeze would be? I can only guess, said Cuckoo. Maybe as loud as this. Ah-choo! That's not loud enough, said Porcupine. An elephant sneeze is much louder than that. Achoo! He blew out his little cheeks and his pointy nose quivered. Grunt, grunt, said Wild Boar. That's not loud enough. An elephant's sneeze must be huge. And taking a deep breath, she went, Achoo! Grunt, grunt. What's all this noise? asked Deer. Do you know how loud an elephant sneeze is? asked Monkey. I always sneeze politely, said Deer with a sniff. But an elephant must have a huge, disgusting sneeze like this. Ah, ah, choo! Ah, 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 choo! Excuse me. Achoo! All the animals jumped, while Buffalo joined the group. That's an elephant's sneeze, he said proudly. Deer, wild boar, porcupine, cuckoo, and monkey looked at him with admiration. Not bad, but not quite, purred a low voice. Wild Buffalo's nose quivered. Tiger leaped out from behind the bushes. She threw her head back, opened her mouth wide, and gave the loudest sneeze you could ever imagine. She went, ah, ah, Elephant walked into the clearing. Pardon me, he said to Tiger. Do you have a cold too? I have one, and I am going to sneeze. What? roared Tiger. What? bellowed Wild Buffalo. What? barked Deer. What? grunted Wild Boar. What? squealed Porcupine. What? sang Cuckoo. Oh, wow, thought Monkey. Ah, uh, well... Uh, ah, went Elephant. 
the whole forest waited. Here it comes, thought Monkey. Ah, that felt good, said Elephant. Nothing like a good sneeze to clear out the trunk. Then he looked around and wondered, where have all the others gone? Cuckoo began to laugh. Now do you know how big an elephant sneeze is, he asked Monkey. Yes, said Monkey, but not another question, wailed Cuckoo and flew hurriedly away. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids! It's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called I'm a Little Teapot. And look what I have in my backpack. A banjo. I'll sing the song first. Then you sing along with me. OK, let's begin. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Now this time, we'll all sing together, okay? Okay! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Letter Safari! Let's find some beginning letter sounds. Oh, look! Hedgehog has maracas! Mm, mm, maracas. Mm, mm, maracas. <laughs> Do you hear that? Maracas begins with M. Mm, mm, maracas. <laughs> Monkey has a triangle. T -t triangle. Triangle. What letter makes the beginning sound in triangle? T! <laughs> That's right! T -t triangle. Pig is playing a keyboard. K -k keyboard. K -k keyboard. What letter do you hear? K! Cool! <laughs> and Mr. Frog has a banjo! B, B, banjo! B, B, banjo! What letter do you hear? B! That's right! Let's listen to the beginning letters again. Mm, mm, maracas. What's that letter? M! T, t, triangle. What's that letter? 
Keyboard. <laughs> What's that letter? K. B. B. Banjo. What's that letter? B. Let's put these four letters in our learning book. Say each letter with me. M. <laughs> T K B All right! Let's make music! It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Hush a bye. Don't you cry Go to sleep, my little baby When you wake You shall have All the pretty little horses Blacks and bays Dappled and gray Dancing through the sky When you wake You shall have All the pretty little horses Hush 
Little horses.